come to the help of your people, turning us from our sin to live for you alone. Give us the power of your Holy Spirit that we may confess our sin, receive your forgiveness, and grow into the fullness of Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us confess our sin in the presence of God and of one another. Have to get in front. Have to get in front by the Zoom people. Most merciful God, we confess that we are captive to sin and cannot free ourselves. We have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us. Forgive us, renew us, and lead us so that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your holy name. Amen. Almighty God in his mercy gave his son Jesus to die for us. And for his sake, God forgives us all our sins. As a called and ordained minister of the Church of Christ and by his authority, I therefore declare to you the entire forgiveness of all your sins in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Let us build a house for our needs. Let songs and visions rise. The Lord and treasure taught all things. As words we hear in our world. Built on tears and cries and laughter. Prayers of faith and songs of praise. Let this house proclaim from forth to after. All are welcome, all are welcome, all are welcome in this place. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. Jesus Messiah, name of all names, a blessing we deliver. and loving God, we give you thanks that you have called us together to be in, in this moment, in this time, in this place, your gathered people. Fill us with your presence. Fill us with your peace. Fill us with your hope. And send us out from here to be messengers of your peace and hope for all people. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. A reading from Numbers. The rabble among them had a strong craving, and the Israelites also wept again and said, If only we had meat to eat. We remember the fish we used to eat in Egypt for nothing, the cucumbers, the melons, the leeks, the onions, and the garlic. But now our strength is dried up, and there is nothing at all but this manna to look at. 
Moses heard the people weeping throughout their families, all at the entrances of their tents. Then the Lord became very angry and Moses was displeased. So Moses said to the Lord, why have you treated your servant so badly? Why have I not found favor in your sight that you lay the burden of all this people on me? Did I conceive all this people? Did I give birth to them that you should say to me, carry them in your bosom as a nurse carries a sucking child to the land that you promised an oath to their ancestors? Where am I to get meat to give to all this people? For they come weeping to me and say, give us meat to eat. I am not able to carry all this people alone for they are too heavy for me. If this is the way you are going to treat me, put me to death at once. If I have found favor in your sight, do not let me see my misery. <laughs> so the Lord said to Moses, gather for me 70 of the Is elders of Israel, whom you know to be the elders of the people and officers over them. Bring them to the tent of meeting and have them take their place there with you. So Moses went out and told the people the words of the Lord, and he gathered 70 el elders of the people and placed them all around the tent. Then the Lord came down in the cloud and spoke to him and took some of the spirit that was on him and put it on the 70 elders. And when the spirit rested upon them, they prophesied, but they did not do so again. Two men remained in the camp, one named Eldad and the other named Medad, and the spirit rested on them. They were among those registered, but they had not gone out to the tent, and so they prophesied in the camp. And a young man ran and told Moses, Eldad and Medad are prophesying in the camp. And Joshua, son of Nun, the assistant of Moses, one of his chosen men, said, My Lord Moses, stop them. But Moses said to him, Are you jealous for my sake? Would that all the Lord's people were prophets, and that the Lord would put his spirit on them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A readings from James. Are any among you suffering? They should pray. Are any cheerful? They should sing songs of praise. Are any among you sick? They should call for the elders of the church and have them pray over them, anointing them with oil in the name of the Lord. The prayer of faith will save the sick, and the Lord will raise them up. And anyone who has committed sins will be forgiven. Therefore, confess your sins to one another and pray for one another so that you may be healed. The prayer of the righteous is powerful and effective. Elijah was a human being like us, and he prayed fervently that it might not rain. And for three years and six months, it did not rain on the earth. Then he prayed again, and the heaven gave rain, and the earth yielded its harvest. My brothers and sisters, if anyone among you wanders from the truth and is brought back by another, you should know that whoever brings back a sinner from wandering will save the sinner's soul from death and will cover over a multitude of sins. The word of the Lord. Gospel according to St. Mark, the ninth chapter. Glory to you, O Lord. 
the disciple John said to Jesus, teacher, we saw someone casting out demons in your name. And we tried to stop him because he was not following us. But Jesus said, do not stop him. For no one who does a deed of power in my name will be able soon afterward to speak evil of me. Whoever is not against us is for us. For truly, I tell you, whoever gives you a cup of water to drink because you bear the name of Christ will by no means lose the reward. If any of you put a stumbling block before one of these little ones who believe in me, it would be better for you if a great millstone were hung around your neck and you were thrown into the sea. If your hand causes you to stumble, cut it off. It is better for you to enter the life, enter life maimed than to have two hands and go to hell to the unquenchable fire. And if your foot causes you to stumble, cut it off. It is better for you to enter life lame than to have two feet and be thrown into hell, to hell. And if your eye causes you to stumble, tear it out. It is better for you to enter the kingdom of God with one eye than to have two eyes and to be thrown into hell, where their worm never dies and the fire is never quenched. For everyone will be salted with fire. Salt is good. But if salt has lost its saltiness, how can you season it? Have salt in yourself and be at peace with one another. This is the gospel of our Lord. Sisters and brothers in Christ, <laughs> that passage from Mark that I just read is confusing to say the least. But it is an attempt on Mark's part to capture some of the some of the difficulty in Jesus preaching, some of the, the challenges that he puts in front of us. But especially the theme of this part of Jesus' teaching is to recognize that not that the whole world is not arrayed against God. That in fact, the whole world created by God is the focus of God's love. And that the whole world at its best, when it knows its relationship with its creator is in a relationship with God that is right that is in balance, that experiences shalom, the word we usually translate as peace. It's so easy for any group of people, whether it's an ethnic group, a nationality, a religious group, any kind of group, to see themselves Maybe I should say to see ourselves as having somehow an exclusive claim on God's truth. Jesus raises a different image in this teaching. He reflects also what his ancient predecessor, the prophet Moses, also taught that there is no limit to God's spirit, the spirit of God's love. 
Last week I did a, a little uh, chapel demonstration with the, uh, with the kids in our preschool. And I thought about redoing it for all of you adults as well, but it's, it's too windy. So I'm gonna have to just talk you through this one. Suppose I have a bag of Skittles and I start sharing my Skittles with you all. Pretty soon I'm gonna run out. That bag had a finite number of Skittles in it. Maybe enough so everybody could get one, but maybe not. Compare that and I had a, a big tub of unlit candles for the kids to watch with one lit candle. Guess I should get back on the camera. <laughs> and I demonstrated to the kids that as, as I lit each new candle, the first candle, its flame didn't diminish, wasn't diminished at all. And I tried, and I'm talking about talking to three and four year olds. I tried to make a comparison there to God's love. It's not there's not just a tiny amount that we have to somehow steward just for ourselves. God's love is like the light of candles. The more we share it, the brighter the world becomes. Our mission, sisters and brothers in Christ, a mission that was given to us when we were baptized is to let our light so shine before others that they may see our works and be drawn to the love of God. The end of the service today, we're going to sing about that light shining. And that we don't, we don't just keep that light for ourselves, but we share that light all around the neighborhood. Christ is the light of the world. We have been given through a whole variety of circumstances, whether it was through our upbringing or through our conversion to Christianity later in life or whatever it was, but we have been given the knowledge that God loves the world so much that God was willing to enter into God's own creation, be a part of this creation, become one with us. And in so doing, share with us God's love and ultimately the promise that we will live with God forever. This is the light that has been given to us. A light that as we share it grows brighter and brighter until the whole world is basking in the love of God, in the light of Christ, in his name, amen.
Let us join together in the words of the Apostle Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. There's a saying that Lutherans are the only congregation that can sing with their hands in their pocket. But that's okay. <laughs> Today, we're going to put all our thoughts and worries and hopes into your hands, oh God. So please hold your hands open in front of you as we pray the response, hear our prayer, and hopefully by the last response, we will be here, okay? We place into your hands, oh God, the life of Grace Lutheran and Petra churches, the children here today, the people around us, and those who are not here today. Lord, in your mercy hear our prayer we place into your hands oh god the life of the church in all the world all the people in the world who bring god's love to others all people who are in danger because they share the love of god as you have blessed us make us a blessing to your world lord in your mercy hear our prayer we place into your hands oh god a world that needs peace a world that needs wisdom a world that needs healing. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We place into the hands of God, into your hands, O oh God, the leaders of every nation, the poor of our own and every land, those who live in fear, and all who hold their lives of others in their hands. You have poured such love into your world. Lord, into your mercy, hear our prayer. We place into your hands, oh God, all those who are suffering and need your presence now. Betty, Gordon, Pam, Landon, Linda, Phyllis, Alice, Paul, Jenny, Loretta, Corey, Carl and Bev, Debbie, Eleanor, Dick, Jerry and Darlene, Eloise, Ruth and San, Rick and Sandy, Rob, Ruth, Veronica, Joan, Jake, Leah, Catherine's uh, baby boy, Ethan, Eschista, uh, Susan, Don, and Kyung Soo Kim. And those we mention out loud or in our hearts. Bless them with your love and comfort and healing and show us how to care for them. Lord, in your mercy, 
Hear our prayer. We place into your hands, O oh God, along with the birthday of Zachary Nauert, the baptism of Molly Ryan, and the 11th year anniversary of Greg and Amy Hammond. We also celebrate the beginning of our new year of our Sunday school and new ministries that you have in store for us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We place into your hands, O oh God, all those who have died as you prepare a place for each of them Prepare us for our place with you when we also will be held in your loving hands forever. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Into your hands, O God, we commend all for whom we pray, trusting in your mercy through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And also with you. Please, as you're able, uh, share a sign of peace with one another. I'd like to invite the choir to come forward for our anthem. Are we taking We'll be there. <laughs> Congregation folks, when we get to the last verse of this, it's probably something that you will recognize. So please feel free to join in with the Praise God from whom all blessings flow at the end of the anthem.
with a grateful heart, give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks, because He's given Jesus Christ, His Son. With thanks, with a grateful heart, give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks, because He's given Jesus Christ, His Son. I know that the reason I am strong, let the poor say I am rich, because of what the Lord has done for us. I know that the weak say I am strong, let the poor say I am because of what the Lord has done for us. Amen. Let us pray. God of all creation, all you have made, all you have made is good, and your love endures forever. You bring forth bread from the earth and fruit from the vine. Nourish us with these gifts that we might be for the world signs of your gracious presence in Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. Our Lord Jesus Christ, on the night he was betrayed, took bread. When he had given thanks, he blessed it and broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup. And when he had given thanks, he blessed it and gave it to them, saying, Drink of this, all of you. This cup is the new covenant in my blood poured out for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. Let us join in the prayer our Lord taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Come and eat and drink the gifts of God for all the people of God. This is the body of Christ, broken for you. This is the blood of Christ, poured out for you. May this gift of the body and blood of Christ strengthen us and keep us in God's grace. Amen. Oh God, we give you thanks that you have set before us this feast, the body and blood of your son. By your spirit, strengthen us to serve all in need 
and to give ourselves away as bread for the hungry through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Before the benediction, I'd like to call the children forward, please. We've got several children here. <coughs> Parents can come too if that's more comfortable. <coughs> I don't know about you guys in Petra, but here at Grace, we're starting Sunday school, starting next week. It's the first Sunday. Are you going to be here with us next Sunday for Sunday school? I hope so. And one of the things, I don't know if you heard during the sermon, I was talking about Jesus being the light of the world. That means Jesus is like, is like light and warmth that's all over the world, trying to show the whole world about God's love. And there's a song that we sing that I think you might know at least part of it. We're going we're gonna to sing it all together. My friend Ranger Jim is going to come up here. <laughs> come up here and get us started. And I want you to listen to the uh, listen to the music. And if you know it, please sing along. But first, I want you to hold your finger up in the air like it, pretend it's a cant. Can you do that, Danny? Put, put your finger up and pretend it's a candle. Pretend there's a flame on the top. It's not going to burn you because we're just pretending. But pretend ah. there's there's a flame up there. So it's a, this little light of mine we're going to say. And what I want to do when we're singing, I want you to take your light and I want you to take it back to whoever you were sitting with and share that light with that person. So that person will light their candle, their finger, from your candle. And let's share that candle all the way around. All right? No. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine.
sure to blow the candle out before you put your hand in your pocket. <laughs> <laughs> may the lord bless us and keep us may the lord's face shine on us and be gracious to us may the lord always look on us with favor and give us god's peace amen, amen. i'm not going to um, share announcements i'm going to hold you accountable for reading the announcements and or the newsletter that you should have gotten or are about to get. I think everything you need to know about the next few weeks in the life of the congregation is printed there for you. Uh, please take, uh, 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 take a few moments to, uh, uh, to uh, read those materials and uh, to uh, sign up, not sign up, but participate in any of the, uh, of the activities that are uh, of interest to you. Pastor Kim, do you have any announcements? Um, just regular announcements and just check out our website for the announcements. All right, very good. Thank you very much. Thanks everybody for coming and very, very special thanks to Petra for uh, the music and of course to uh, Susan and our choir for, uh, for the music as well. Oh, love never fails, never gives up, never runs out of me. Your love never fails, never gives up, never runs out of me. Your love never fails, never gives up, never runs out of me. Your love, on and on. available for uh, for folks uh, so if you if you are so inclined please feel free to uh, stick around we'll uh, get more tables if we need Re rearrange chairs um, and um, I see the grill is smoking right now so the hamburgers and hot dogs must be almost ready so uh, please again feel free to uh, rearrange move into the shade or into the sun whichever you prefer and make yourselves comfortable and uh, enjoy us for the time of Christ. <laughs>